Look, I have already come to terms with the fact that they are not gonna call me for the role, but could they literally call, like, anybody except Gal? <clears throat> Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. So I made a video recently on speculation about Gal Gadot coming back to play Wonder Woman, and it seems like just last week it was kind of all but confirmed. They said that Gal was gonna be coming back to work on Wonder Woman 3, however, they didn't say if she was just coming back to work on the movie in a producer sort of circumstance, or if she's actually coming back to play the character again. If she is, I have a huge problem with it, and I have a couple of reasons why. Before I get started, I want to take a quick second to remind you guys that we do have a Discord server for my YouTube subscribers, Instagram followers, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and pin the link to the server in the comments of this video. I hope to see you guys there. So why is it such a problem that Gal might be playing Wonder Woman again? Well, the last iteration of the DCEU was basically a disaster. It was riddled with constant flops, the overhyping of Zack Snyder's Justice League, terrible CGI, poorly written scripts, actors that are literally criminals. It's been a disaster. James Gunn taking the reins to the DCEU and sort of wiping the slate clean seemed like a really good idea. While I do have some quarrels with his current plan, like making the brave and the bold a uh, first Batman movie, why would you start at Damien? And also, I don't think I'll ever really get over him firing Henry Cavill, but all of these are besides the point. James Gunn came in and said that he was supposedly going to wipe wipe the slate clean, which meant that the new DC continuity was gonna be free and clear of all the f**k-ups from the old continuity. And that's what we needed, fresh new faces and familiar characters with well-written stories to get DC back on the map, so to speak. Superman felt like the first step. James Gunn said that he wanted to take Superman in a younger direction, and so getting rid of Cavill was the right move. He also got rid of Ben Affleck's Batman before Batfleck ever got his own solo movie. So essentially, James Gunn started this whole reboot overhaul by getting rid of two of the only sort of good parts of Zack Snyder's DCEU. And while that seemed like a necessary evil to move in a good direction, it doesn't really feel like the direction we're moving in is that great anymore. They're still releasing Aquaman 2, which nobody wants to watch, so that's definitely gonna be a flop. And after the movie's release, the director of The Flash insisted that they would never want to recast Dennis the Menace, I mean Ezra Miller, as The Flash, which is a f***ing terrible decision because it sets a really bad precedent for people being like psychotic criminals in the street like Ezra is. So why get rid of Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, but keep all these other terrible parts of the DCEU going? And now, with the prospect of keeping Gal on as Wonder Woman, it's really not a clean slate at all. Having all these kind of shitty pieces of a generally broken system is worth it for what? Wonder Woman 1984 is regarded as one of the, if not the worst, DCEU movies in the entire lineup. And I tend to think that some of the weaker moments in even the first film, which is admittedly pretty solid, can be chalked up to the fact that while Wonder Woman is an iconic character that both men and women kind of worship, Gal Gadot is not an iconic actress. I'm sorry. She is beautiful. She is stunning. She seems like an incredibly kind person. The woman is everything, but she's not Wonder Woman in my opinion. The model thin look, in my opinion, has never really worked for somebody who's supposed to be a muscle-bound Amazon. Maybe that's just my personal bias. I have big legs. I like girls with big legs. I don't think Gal Gadot has the big legs to be Wonder Woman like the art that I grew up seeing and wanting to be. I also think the woman can't act. Genuinely, Gal Gadot has been able to play Wonder Woman because she's been given really shitty scripts and not much has been axed of her. But the woman can't act her way out of a cardboard box. You could paint a Wonder Woman outfit on a wooden plank and get the same performance that Gal delivers in every scene she's in. So of all things to keep in the DCU moving forward, why keep this incredibly lackluster performance as Wonder Woman? If you ask me, and this is honestly just my conjecture, I have zero insights into the industry, I don't know anybody on the inside. If I did, I wouldn't be here griping about on YouTube all day, I would be doing relevant things with my life. But 
In my opinion, I think they probably had signed a huge contract with Gal Gadot that with recent box office failures, they can no longer afford to pay her out of. That's just my theory. Keeping Gal in that skirt and those boots just ties the new DCEU to something that failed previously, and all it's gonna do is confuse viewers. You think casual audiences are gonna understand that no, this is the same Wonder Woman, but it's not the same Wonder Woman, so it's the same lady, but it's actually not the same movie, but basically, like, they're all not connected, but it's the same guy. It's not gonna happen. These people are gonna be lost. As somebody who likes the characters in DC a lot more than I like the characters in Marvel, it's kind of heartbreaking to see the DCEU continue to fail and moving down a path that honestly I don't think is ever gonna save it but maybe that's what Warner Brothers wants to do if they make enough failures maybe they can just sell off the properties to somebody who knows what they're doing I guess we'll see what happens and that's all for me I've been Snarky J thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on Gal Gadot coming back as Wonder Woman in the comments below